It's been a while since I've done an arguments that needs to die video, so let's remedy that, shall we? Now, I deal with theists on YouTube on a regular basis. So it doesn't surprise me that every once in a while, even though most conversations tend to be pretty standard, that every once in a while you get the occasional gym. And this is a perfect example of one. So I was having a discussion with somebody, and this guy came out of nowhere. And, and when I just like kind of look at the chat, I kind of just imagine him just like, Oh, don't you hate, chef. I've got a really brilliant response, and you're just gonna be stunned. You're not just, just gonna mind's gonna be blown, and he just jumps out and just yells out, "Without God, there wouldn't be any atheists." Now, I think why people still use this argument is because people still think atheists know that God exists, but they just deny him or reject him. I think if these people understood that an atheist rejects the claim that God exists, then maybe they wouldn't say such stupid shit. Because I mean, honestly, let's really think about this. If atheism is only true because God exists, then when someone like me says, well, I don't believe in Santa, therefore I'm an a-santist, that means Santa exists. Or that I'm an a Bigfootist, which means Bigfoot exists. And so on and so forth with fairies and Loch Ness monsters and, you know, just insert your own magical creature. When it comes down to it, the phrase really should just say, without theists, atheists wouldn't exist. Now, some of you may be wondering why I'm, I'm doing such, you know, low-hanging fruit. Well, the purpose of this video is to remind people that there are new people coming into this great debate all of the time, be it Christian or atheist, and they're going to use bad arguments. It's just going to happen. We all use bad arguments, and we learn from them I've learned from people going, no, that's just, no, just stop. So, I'm just doing my part here. So, and there's always going to be people that are going to be getting misinformation from preachers and, and loved ones that are going to be using these bad arguments. I need to do at least my part in reminding people, hey, no, just no. Anyways, this is the Atheist Chef signing off. Peace. So please explain to me and everybody else out there and to yourself, is there anything in the Bible that would lead you to believe that these are, you know, aren't craters, that these aren't signs of... Ho, 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 ho. <sighs> wow. Immediately jumps right into misogyny when he was first just making a point about, you know, how he thinks it's stupid to think that it's immoral to be homosexual. And when all else fails, and you've backed them into the corner, and you've shown them how it's not physically possible for something to happen.